Can I share a frightening statistic with you, if that's okay? So, please, in like, please. yeah. So the the background rate of schizophrenia in the general population is one percent. They did a study in London, and they looked at what was the rate of getting a schizophrenia diagnosis in people who were smoking fifteen percent THC uh, strain. And now, okay, so the ditch weed back in the day is one to three percent, fifteen percent. That's already kind of you know that's purposely hydroponically grown to be stronger. It was one in twenty. Yep. One in 20 of them and ended up getting a psychotic diagnosis. That's a five-fold increase. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the actual scarier part. 15% cannabis isn't even that high compared to what we're using in North America. Most Not people going to a dispensary are getting like 30% hydroponically grown, you know, strains. At least. Just to give you... Yeah, it's... And then sometimes up to 90% if they're using like, like concentrates and things like Dabs. that. Dabs. Yeah. Wax. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Listen, I see, I see it, see it, see it all over the place. But, but oftentimes an SSRI is mixed in there. And I, I wondered the extent to which, you know, the relative effect of the SSRI is because the, the cannabis patients get depressed along the way and they keep smoking more weed to deal with the depression. It helps me with my anxiety, blah, blah, blah. Not understanding it's making everything worse. Uh, and then they get the psychotic symptoms and uh, off it goes. 